Hello everyone. Welcome to the SAT video series. Are you all getting stumped by those funky SAT math questions that involves solving an equation which has constant coefficients? Today, I'll be breaking down this problem type. I'll walk you through a number of examples so you can see the various ways these questions tend to appear on the SAT. So let us begin by understanding what do we mean by solving the equation using the strategy of matching coefficients. Let us consider a simple example here. If x plus a whole square is equal to x square plus 8x plus b, what is the value of p? Please note that whenever these kind of equations are given where the coefficients are unknown or the constants are unknown we solve this by the technique of matching coefficients now when will the expression on the left hand side become equal to the expression on the right hand side when all the corresponding terms coefficients are same so let us see what are the terms in the left hand side. When we do x plus a whole square by the formula of a plus b whole square, it is a square plus 2ab plus b square. I hope by now everyone is aware of this identity a plus b whole square. Please note that during the video, if there is any concept or topic which you are not aware of, please send me a uh, comment on this video which I do look at it and I'll make the video on that particular topic on priority. So let us come back to this question and the right hand side is x square plus 8x plus b. The two expressions on either side of the equality will be equal when the coefficient of x square on both the sides are same. So both the sides the coefficient of x square is 1. The coefficient of x should also be same on both the sides. So this means that plus 2a should be plus 8. So 2a is 8 and a is 4 and the constant term here should be same as the constant term here. So a square should be equal to b. a is 4 and we get b as 4 square which is 16. So this is the simplest question where we have used the strategy of matching the coefficient and solving for the unknown value. Now let us see what kind of questions appear on SAT which are based on these strategies. If 2x plus 3 into ax minus 5 is equal to 12x square plus bx minus 15 for all values of x, what is the value of b? Here again we have an expression on the left hand side and an expression on the right hand side and we can use the strategy of matching coefficient. Okay, so our left hand side is 2x plus 3 into ax minus 5. I have expanded this left hand side by the FOIL approach which I assume all of you know by now the FOIL approach of expanding the two brackets. Correct. So here when I expand it, what do I see? That the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 2a and on the right hand side it is 12. So according to matching the coefficient, 2a should be equal to 10. Then only the expression on the either side will be same when the coefficient of x square is same and also when the coefficients of x are same. Correct. So from here we get a as 6 and I will put a as 6 here to get b as 3 times 6 minus 10 which gives me an answer 8. Isn't it easy? Let us go to one more example. If n is less than 0 and 4x square plus mx plus 9 is equal to 2x plus 9 whole squared, what is the value of m plus n? What is our left hand side? 4x square plus mx plus 9 and the right hand side we can expand it by the identity a plus b whole square. So it gives a square plus 2ab plus b square which on expansion gives 4x square plus 4nx plus n square. The two expression will be equal when the coefficients of x are equal. So m is equal to 4 times n and 9 is equal to n square. Correct? 
सो इफ नाइन इज एन स्क्वेयर एन कैन बी आइदर पॉजिटिव थ्री और नेगेटिव थ्री वाई बिकॉज एन इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ नाइन करेक्ट वी ओनली वॉन्ट एन विच इज लेस देन जीरो हेंस वी डिस्कार्ड दिस वैल्यू एंड वी टेक एन एज नेगेटिव थ्री If n is negative three, then m is four times negative three, which is negative twelve, and we are asked the value of m plus n, which comes as negative fifteen. Negative twelve plus negative three is negative fifteen. So here, okay. I have one last example for you, a question that generally appears on your SAT exam. Look at this question. 2x plus a into 3x plus b is equal to 6x square plus cx plus 7. In the equation above, a and b are integers. If the equation is true for all values of x, what are the two possible values of c? So the first thing, very important in attempting any SAT question, is to read. what is given in the question what conditions are mentioned and then see what we have to find out so here the condition mentioned are that a and b are integers correct this is a very important condition that will help us to solve this question so when i expand the left hand side by the foil i get 6x square plus 2bx plus 3ax plus ab and if i collect the like terms I get the coefficient of x as 2b plus 3a and plus ab, and this is equal to 6x square plus cx plus 7. And what I will try to do? I will try to find the values of a and b, and see by comparing the coefficients. So I say, okay, ab should be 7, and 2b plus 3a should be equal to c. okay now we do not know c we do not know a we do not know b but it is given in the question that a and b both are integers so what can be the possible value of a and b such that a times b gives us a 7 because we have figured out that ab is 7 it is possible only when i do 1 times 7 so i get a 7 or i do 7 times 1 this is the only possibility where a and b are integers and the product is 7 Correct. Seven is a prime number. It doesn't have any other factor apart from seven and one. Okay. So now, if a is seven and b is one, then R C is two b plus three a. Am I right? Let me find the value. So I do two into uh, one plus three into seven, which gives me a twenty-three as the answer. Now. please do not get into finding the other value first look at the choices that give 23 as one of the values correct and i see that only choice d give me 23 as one of the answer so without even finding the second value i'll be taking this as the answer yes if you want to know how do we find out the second value we have used this combination now we'll be using the other combination so i'll take a as 1 and b as 7 so c is equal to 2 times b which is 7 plus 3 times a which gives me a 17 which is same as the another choice which is given in question d so first find one of the value try to eliminate all those choices which doesn't have that value as the answer in case if you have only one uh, one answer which has got that value then you need not even solve for another um, answer you directly get your answer by eliminating the choices so i hope the equation solving strategy matching the coefficient is clear to everyone if you have any doubts regarding the questions on matching the coefficients or any other topic you can either send me an email at kirti.mathacademy@gmail.com or you can write a comment on my video and i'll be helping you with that topic or the question this is my youtube channel math academy if you have liked my videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you